Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and I'm now on question number six from this P2, Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level at Excel uh, from the June 2021 exam. This question is about a circle which has equation x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 8y plus k equals 0, where k is a positive constant. Given that the x axis is a tangent to this circle, find the value of k. So let's first of all take this equation of the circle which they gave us and rewrite it in a format from which we can find the center of the circle and an expression for its radius. In order to do that, I have to complete the square. So I'm going to take the x squared and the minus 6x and I'm going to complete the square for that. So that's going to be x minus, I take a half of this coefficient which is 3, that's a squared bracket, and then I take away the square of this term which is 9. This will give me x squared minus 6x plus 9, minus 9, which leaves me with that. And then I've got plus, and this, I'll write y, plus a half of the coefficient, so that's 4, squared, and then take away the square of this term, which is 16. So that's going to give me y squared plus 8y plus 16 minus 16, so the 16 cancel, you're left with this. So this y plus 4 squared minus 16 is the same as y squared plus 8y, and x minus 3 squared minus 9 is the same as x squared minus 6x. Then I've got this plus k at the end, and that's equal to 0. So now I'm going to take the constant terms and um, express them on the other side of this. So I have x minus 3 squared. I've got minus 9 and minus 16, which is minus 25. So let me just write this here minus 25 plus k equals 0. So now what I'll do, I'll say x minus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to, this is going to be 25 minus k. So we know that something that's written in the form x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So this is the center of the circle and r is the radius of the circle. So what we can say here is that the center of the circle here the center of the circle is 3 minus 4, and we can say that the radius of the circle is the square root of 25 minus k. All right, so now it tells us here that the x-axis is a tangent to the circle. So I'm going to make a little, little sketch here just to um, kind of illustrate what's going on. So you've got, like, say, your axes. So let's say this is your axes, your y and your x-axis. All right, the center of the circle is at 3 and minus 4. That's the center of the circle. And the x-axis is a tangent to the circle. So I've got a little tool here I can use to draw. So that means if the x-axis is a tangent to the circle, then the circle doesn't pass the x-axis. Well, this is the center here. This is 3 minus 4, okay, and we can see here, whoops, what am I doing? Okay, we can see here that the radius of this circle must be, if you, if you think about it, the radius of this circle must be from here to here. And we know for sure that is 4 units. Okay, because the radius of this circle, this is because we know from here to here, this is where the center is, is 4. So from there to there must be 4. So we know that the radius is equal to 4. So we can say the square root of 25 minus k is equal to 4. Therefore, we can say 25 minus k is equal to 16. So we can say 25 minus 16 is equal to k. So k is equal to 9. So we found the value of k. Okay, we found the value of k. All right, so that's how you can deal with such a question. And now we're going to go to part B of this question. Okay, so now for part B, it tells us uh, that the circle meets the coordinate axes at the points R, S, and T. All right, so if we take the sketch that I made before, okay, so um, let's say this is R. Oops, second. Let's say this is R and this is s and this is t okay so it meets the coordinate axis at these three points and you got to find the area of the triangle rst so you got to find the area of this triangle 
RST. Okay, that's what we're going to find. So let's find the coordinates of R and S and T. All right, so for R, the coordinates of R is pretty simple here. I've called R this point here. So this is, R is the point we know um, this is going to be 3, 0. 3, 0. That's where, you know, it's right above the center. It's a tangent to the circle. And the x-axis, this is the x-axis here. So the coordinates of the point R, what we call R here, is 3, 0. We're going to find the coordinates of S and T. So what we're going to do now is we're going to find out where does this circle cross the y-axis. Now we know that, that on the y-axis, at the y-axis, we know x is equal to 0. So if I take the equation of our circle, which is x minus 3 squared, plus y plus 4 squared equals 16, because the radius was uh, 4, remember, so that's r squared 16. Um, we can substitute x equals 0 into here, so we have minus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 16. So that's 9 plus y plus 4 squared equals 16. To make life easier, we don't need to square this bracket. We can just basically use this as a squared bracket. So y plus 4 squared equals 16 minus 9, which is 7. So that means y plus 4 equals plus or minus the square root of 7. So there's two values where it hits the y-axis. One is minus 4 plus root 7. And the other one is y equals minus 4 minus root 7. So in our diagram, the s is minus 4 plus root 7. And the t is minus 4 minus root 7. That's uh, more negative. Okay, so we have r as uh, 3, 0. So basically, if I find, so I have, I have a triangle like this. So if I find this length between S and T and multiply it by, like this is the vertical height of the triangle. You can say that this is like the vertical height of the triangle. Okay, something like this. From there to there is a the vertical height. So the vertical height of the triangle is from here to here, which is three units. So this is three units. And if I find the distance from S and T, this is like the base and this is like the vertical height of the triangle. So I'll have a half times base times height. So the area of this is going to be a half times ST times, you can say, um, OR. This is the origin, OR. Times OR. That's a half times a base times a height. So from S to T, okay, from S to T, you can subtract those two um, from each other. So you have um, minus 4 plus root 7 minus minus 4 minus root 7. That's going to be s to t. That's the distance from s to c. So it's minus 4 plus 4, which is 0, and root 7 minus minus root 7, which is root 7 plus root 7, which is 2 root 7. So that's s to t, and we know that o to r is equal to 3, so we can find the, equal, the area of this, which is a half times 2 root 7 times 3, they cancel out there, so you're left with 3 root 7 square units. So there is the answer to question 6 part B, the exact area, they said exact area, so we leave it in terms of the square root. Okay, so there we have the answer to that question, question number 6B. Other questions from this particular paper? June 2021, P2 can be found by clicking on this link here, which will appear at the end of the video. Over here will be questions related to equations of circles from P2. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link here. On the description of the video, you'll find some links taking you to the index for my um, P1, P3, P2, P3, P4, M1, S1 papers, as well as... Um, a link to some IGCSE questions as well. Thank you for watching and see you soon.